just a little bit overwhelming. Being uni students in the middle of a pandemic is definitely not the easiest. So, so good for your mental health. I can't quite believe these are my first exams at medical school. Who would have thought I would have been here? Medical school is just hard sometimes. loves and welcome back to my channel it really does feel like the longest time since i've been sat down talking to you all i hope you had a lovely christmas and new year i know it was a slightly different one this year but i still hope you all made the most out of it today's video is going to be a day in the life of revising with me and my study routine i have my first set of medical school exams in january and because everything is how it is right now they are all online and it is open book however it's not making it that much easier there is so much to do i am still quite stressed but i wanted to bring you all along on a day in my life to see what it's like to study with me so if you do like the sounds of today's video then please give it a big thumbs up and if you haven't already i would love if you decided to stick around and subscribe i am anna i am a first year medical student at the university of birmingham and this channel just has a little bit of something for everyone from uni content medicine content and it really would mean the world if you decide to join this little family it's currently tuesday the 5th of january and i have exactly a week until my exams start i have three exams i have one anatomy exam and two about the rest of my modules which is split in half into a short answer question paper and a multiple choice and very short answer question paper so i'm just basically trying to get through all the content that's my aim right now i make flashcards and normally i'll be going over the flashcards however there is so much content at the right now i'm just focusing this week on getting through the content writing my flashcards and making sure that i really understand everything so i thought i would quickly show you what i do before every exam season is i like to make myself a little timetable of how i'm fitting in all of the hours into the day and i still like to wake up at 6 30 and then i will work for an hour before breakfast and then i'll just bring you along on the rest of our little routine for the day so you can see really what i get up to then i always make a big revision chart and i do like to have this on paper i like to physically be able to see my revision chart so now we are as you can see on the last week and i've just planned what days i'm doing what modules and what chapters I'm doing within the modules. And then each evening we actually have a revision session run by MedSoc at our university on Zoom. So I'm trying to go to those in the evenings as well. So I've kind of tied in which modules I'm doing so that I learn them on the Zoom revision session and then recap them the day after. Today we have got NAS, which is Neurons, Axons and Synapses. And that is my favorite module, so you are in for a treat. The next part of my planning is I have these little study charts for every single topic so i just write down week by week which flashcards i have done things that i need to do and then i do a little dot on how i found it when i was going over it with the revision flashcards orange is medium whereas something like mtm i've gone over quite a lot and see how i've got red green orange dots so nas we have still got quite a lot of work to do today i really do need to just get on crack on with the day being uni students in the middle of a pandemic it's definitely not the easiest. Boris did announce another lockdown yesterday and I'm just going to try not to focus on it. I have my exams in a week and if you do have exams then just keep as motivated as possible. We can do this, we can get through it, it'll be worth it after. This is not forever, it's just temporary. I just went through and refreshed everything that I did in the session before on NAS and I just used my Anki flashcards as well as my notes on Notion and I always use my whiteboard when I'm revising. It means I can just scribble down anything and it saves so many pieces of paper I've just done a little hour refresh of what I was doing last topic and I haven't got through it all yet so I think I am going to do another hour and then I'm going to get on with another hour of starting some new stuff I really want to get through most of the content today because then I can recap it one more time before my exam next week now I'm going to go and get some breakfast I am starving it's 7 45 and I just work so much better in the mornings that is why I get up so early I really am like a morning person 
I then went downstairs to make myself a coffee using our coffee machine. It really does make the best coffee. It is so addictive. Before I made myself a big bowl of protein porridge, which is always my go-to breakfast. At 8.30, I then headed back upstairs to get on with another hour of revision. And again, I was just recapping things I had already learned to go over it and make sure I really did understand it. I'm now just having a little 10 minute break. How I like to study is to do an hour and then have 10 minute breaks. By the end of the day, I want to have put into flashcards up to chapter nine and I'm currently only on chapter five. So there is an awful lot to do. That is the thing about medicine. There's just so much content, so much that I want to do. I want to do my content. I want to do some practice questions. I really would like to be able to do them, but I just, I don't know if there's enough time. I think next term I'm going to try and write my flashcards as I go along so there's not quite as much revision to do because otherwise it's just a little bit overwhelming. But we are trying to keep a positive look on the bright side. We can do this. I literally made one of these little vision boards that I love to go above my desk. At the moment when there isn't a lot to be positive about, it is really good to have a vision board to remind yourself of all the good things in your life, everything that you want to achieve. Now I'm going to just crack on with some more revision for the morning. So I finally got on to revising some new content and I like to do this by making Anki flashcards using my notes from Notion and I just add in as many photos as possible because I really find this helps me to remember information. I then decided I needed a little mid-morning snack. Now this is protein yogurt and trust me it tastes so much better than it looks. I then headed back upstairs to get on with some more revision and try and get through some more chapters and just really make sure I understood the content and how it in flashcards. So it is now quarter past one and I'm going to go and get some lunch. Although, oh, there's just so much. Like, I'm not going to get upset. I'm not going to get upset. There's no way by the end of the day I'm going to get through what I set myself to do. I think we're going to have to try and do some more later on in the week because it's all about the nervous system and if anybody is studying it, it's really quite complex. Really, I'm just hoping for the best at this point. I really have tried my hardest, you know. It is what it is. Medical school is just hard sometimes. Oh, all over the place. It will be fine. It will be fine. But I'm gonna go and have a little break now, get some lunch before I come back and do a little bit more. I'm gonna try and do another couple of hours this afternoon. I'm just gonna keep plodding on, keep trying my best, keep doing what I'm doing, and you know, it will be absolutely fine. So for lunch, once again, I have meal preps. I always meal preps and it's some sort of like lentil coconut soup idea. It's probably gonna look horrific because as you know, all my meals always look horrible. However, it does taste really good. So I'm really excited to go and get that now and just have a little break downstairs with my family. I've just come back from lunch with my family. I find it so hard to motivate myself in the afternoons. I don't know if anybody else is like this, but it's now two o'clock and I'm actually so tired. I don't want to do any more, but I have got myself another coffee. I'm going to try and get a couple more hours done before I head off to the gym. I love getting the majority of my work done in the morning, but I want to get through at least another chapter of NAS. I am going to cover it again at some point before these exams, so it isn't the end of the world, but I want to really try and knuckle down on some of the information. Playing white noise is a new technique that I've found to really help me study for longer periods of time. I play raindrops, we can play whatever sound you like, and I think having a background noise really helps you to tune out to any distractions that are going on around the house and helps you focus for longer periods of time. So I just listened to this whilst I got on with making some more flashcards from that chapter. I just had a quick little break and I've now got my final hour to do. I'm feeling quite positive and now I'm going to get on and do the last little bit. Now quarter past four and I am actually done with proper revision for the day. I'm now going to go downstairs and do a little home workout. Like I said before, we have some weights at home and a treadmill. So I'm going to go on the treadmill, get in some actual steps because I haven't moved all day. And I'm going to do arms today from the Tone and Sculpt app, which is the workout plan that I follow. And I literally love it so much. I will put the link in the description box below. So today I'm going to do arms. I did a legs yesterday and I actually can't move. So I'm quite excited to go and do arms. Get moving. I always find still going to the gym at least three or four times a week during exam season is so 
so good for your mental health i would actually go insane if i didn't work out or do something like sometimes i do feel like it is just wasting the time but really it is not it helps me sleep better it helps me stay calm even though right now i am quite tired but i know when i start i will thank myself for it and then at half five i've got a zoom for ppp which is a different module and it's just some of the old years going over all the really key points and just running a little revision session for us which is really nice and i'm going to write a few notes on the key points and to be honest with you it gets to half five and i'm shattered anyway so it's better than not doing any revision at all and i do find them really helpful i then went downstairs and got some weights and did a little workout i never do anything too vigorous during exam season just because i don't want to hurt myself or be absolutely knackered but i find just moving in any way is so helpful makes me feel about a million times better Right, my loves, so I am still a little bit sweaty. I literally had to run from the gym. To get to this, I'm all set up and ready. Like I said, it's PPP, and I will update you properly later after the lecture because I am in a little bit of a rush. I left it a bit tight, but I had such a good gym session. I feel ready and raring to go. I'm just gonna write notes on whatever I need, and then we are finished for the day. It is now seven and I just finished that Zoom revision session. That was literally so helpful. I'm so glad that I'm going to these. They're on every day this week, so I will be going every single day. It's just really good to get some advice from some older years and I've now got tomorrow all planned of what I'm going to do. I'm gonna sit down and just spend like 15 minutes just quickly going over what I did in the revision session and then I need to stop. I don't know if you can tell, but I am just so tired from today. I'm gonna go downstairs, get some dinner, sit down with my parents and then come back upstairs and start editing this video and i can get this out for you i really hope everyone is doing okay in this third lockdown just remember it won't be forever there is a light at the end of the tunnel the vaccine is on the way and you got through it once you can get through it again stay active and we are all in this together we will all be absolutely fine so i've just got now less than two more weeks to get through it and then i have some time off to make loads of content for you all i'm actually so excited but in the meantime, I should either be vlogging at the weekend or just doing a live study with me. You let me know what you would like in the comments below. I'm going to be vlogging as much of exam season as possible and my whole exam week of my first year exams. I can't quite believe these are my first exams at medical school. Who would have thought I would have been here? Anyway, I hope everyone has an amazing week and I will see you all so soon. Bye!